What is Eric Gordon doing here? You don't get over the down screen before this magic player does. See, look what happens. You're trying to get over this screen, and Gary Harris is going to beat you back door. So what does that do? That means Zubox got to stay and help, and he can't get out to Wendell Carter Jr. If you're Zubok here, this loose ball happens. Please get back. Please. Why are you stopping here and just giving up on the play? Let's... Paul George, you want this player coming off the screen this way. Because look, what, now this player's rolling into backside help. Okay? When you are not letting him go off the screen, now look where this player's rolling to. No backside help. I mean... All right, turnover here. If you're Eric Gordon, why are you giving up on the play? Can't you sprint back? Like, look at Eric Gordon. See, slow. if you sprint the whole way, you're up here. And this when this miss happens... You could get this ball. You box out. You could get it. You, but you gave up on the play. Horrible defense from Marcus Morris. Sprint back, get in a defensive stance with your feet set. Does Marcus Morris do that? No, he's backpedaling and backpedaling and back. But now you, you didn't even guard Fultz till he's in the charge circle. All right, so watch Nicholas Batum here. All right, we got a loose ball right here. Loose ball, stop. Okay, if you're Nicholas Batum, you need to start sprinting back now. This little delay here... Of you not moving is why you're not ahead of this Franz Wagner. Okay, what is Terrence Mann doing? You need to find a magic player and guard that magic player. Like, Terrence Mann right now is currently just getting to absolute no man's land. No one's guarding Cole Anthony. Not backpedal this much in drop coverage. You gotta step up here a little bit and stop the ball. Paul George needs to drop here because he so he's in backside help. And then we have another backside defender right there in the corner. Okay? But, I mean, no. Okay, so Robert Covington is doing well here. He's in a defensive stance with his feet set. Now, Paolo Banchero's not going anywhere here yet. Look at his feet. Why did you just move your feet? Banchero didn't go anywhere. Now you're off balance. Clippers' lack of urgency on defense is unbelievable. If you're Marcus Morris, stop backpedaling. Get here in a defensive stance with your feet set. Is Marcus Morris in a defensive stance right now? No. No. He, this is a horrible switch. If you're Zubak, what if you're switching, why are your hands on the screener right here? And you're underneath the screener. You should be up here, level to the screener, ready to guard, because this player's coming underneath the screener. Like, you're not ready to switch here. Are you look does it look like you're ready to guard the ball right now? No. I just uh this is just laziness on defense. Sprint back. Defensive stance. Look at Westbrook. No, you're... What are you... Oh, wow. If you're Terrence Mann, you can test this Bonchero shot. Stop. So the shot goes up. Stop. No, no, no. Where are you going? Your first instinct has to be to box out. What? What's Terrence Mann doing? Not boxing out. So where's this long rebound going? Not to Terrence Mann. What is Nicholas Batum doing? What? Why? That's how you're guarding? Why are you not underneath and guard? Like, what? 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 Cannot anticipate a screen, lean towards a screen. Look at this Clippers player here leaning towards this screen. So if Cole Anthony comes this way as you're leaning towards the screen, you have zero chance of guarding him. What is going on here? So the shot's up. Plumlee's not boxing out. This Clippers, Batum's got to box this player out, which he doesn't. Plumlee is not going to be able to box out this player. So he should be coming here to box out this Magic player so this player can box out this player. But you got two people underneath doing absolutely nothing. So that's how this long rebound comes to Cole Anthony. If you're Terrence Mann here, as your man cuts through, you need to be underneath battling for real estate initiating contact. What's Terrence Mann doing here? Look what just happened. Because you didn't do that, now look. Now this player's boxing you out now. Okay, if you want to run drop coverage to this side, this player's got to drop underneath the gaps. Remember, if your feet are set and you're in a defensive stance, when this player comes this way, you're just stunting without moving your feet. Easy recovery. Okay, your man's all the way in your half court anyways. But if you're not in the gaps here, look at this. There's really no backside help because Russell Westbrook can't leave. So it's just... What on earth is Mason Plumley doing? You're guarding this magic player. Why do you stop guarding this magic player? What? 
so now you're switching. It's a horrible switch. Like, what just happened there? You are Russell Westbrook. You can't guard like this. Your back is to your man. You have to be seeing your man and the ball, of which you're only seeing the ball. So, yeah, of course that happens. Okay, if you're Paul George and you want to play the gaps here, you're not in a defensive stance. Look at your feet. I mean, are you kidding me? Their feet aren't set. So now look at now you're not going to be able to get out. So now you're not able to guard. You're coming upwards as this player is going the other way. And so now you're going to be extremely late getting under the screen. And that's it. Okay, we got Marcus Morris now staring at the ball. Why? You got to see your man and the ball. What is Marcus Morris doing here? Like your man is all the way out here now. Why? You're, you can't guard now. That That's insane. Okay, I don't know what Eric Gordon's doing here. You got to have more urgency. You got to get up. Like, you got to be ready to guard when this player receives this ball. Like, look at that. You're not ready to guard at all. So you're off balance. And now this player's got you beat. That forces a second defender. Now Bonchero's open. He can just rip and go to the rim, draw help. Why is Russell Westbrook trying to be screened? Like, you're in drop coverage, so you're trying to go over the top. Look at how much space you have to go over the top. Look at that. Russell Westbrook just walked into his own screen. What? What was that? Shocking, I know, but laziness on defense from Robert Covington. Get your feet set in a defensive stance. Look at Robert Covington. Are you kidding me? That's your defense? Just backpedaling? Horrible, horrible, horrible switch. Why's Robert Covington got his hand on the screener? Why is he underneath the screener if he's switching? You should be up now, ready to guard. Like, Russell Westbrook's going under. Like, look at this. Are you... Are you ready to guard Franz Wagner right now? You're by the way, you're still got your hand on the screener and leaning this way. No, you're not. You're off balance. It's unbelievable. So Russell Westbrook traps Bonchero, okay? So the pass gets made to fault. Stop. Russell Westbrook needs to be sprinting now. Like full sprint. Or what is Westbrook doing? Look at this jogging. See, if you had sprinted, you're there, you're probably able to just guard the ball again. But if not, you can sprint over here and this player can guard the ball. Jogging back like this is insane.